Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed. Welcome to my channel. Today I will show you a way how to transfer files over a network using TCP socket in Zojo. In this video, we will create two applications. The first one is server application my Windows machine. From it, we will send this text file. And the client application is located in Linux virtual box. And as you see, I prepared only, we will write here in a few minutes, some code. Now let's switch back to the another side and start with adding the TCP socket to our application. This one will have the name server socket. Now socket has many events. I will add only connected and send complete event. To my window, I will add the opening event. Here, I will assign a port and address to my socket and listen for any incoming connections. Server socket. Here, I will type the IP address of my Windows machine. Listen. Okay, perfect. Now, as soon as we are connected with any clients, I want to show the results maybe in a label. Now, let me add quickly a label. Make it a little bit bigger. Give it the name maybe LDR ST for state and con for connection. And 20. Perfect. Now, in this event, I will type that the text of this label should be connected. Now I will switch to the client side and add also a label. We will need it anyway. Same thing, LBL, ST, CON, 20. TCP socket. This time I will give it the name client socket. Add connected event and maybe I will add also the data available event. Okay, to my window we will need also the opening event because I need to try to connect to the server. But first, we need to assign a port and address to our socket. So, client socket, port, client socket, address. Notice, now I am in the Ubuntu virtual box. I will write the IP address of my Windows machine. As I said, we try to connect. Now, um, we will need here, maybe under the connect event, that the label show client is connected with the server. Now, let me test the connection part. First, I will run the server application then we need to run the client application. It looks good. Both applications are able to connect with each other. Now we can move on to the next step. We want to send the text file. I will add here button. Send file, maybe, and label to show the results of sending the file. Or maybe I will copy it. It's easier. And this is the state of the file. Um, I want to add here the opening event. 
Now I will specify the path of the file that I want to send. The file name is transfer underscore file txt transfer file txt. Okay. And if we want to send this text file over TCP socket, we need to handle the content of this file in binary form. That means we will need var stream as binary stream if f unequal to null then and if stream is equal to binary stream we need to open that file and then we will need our socket to send this file we read and the buffer size is stream length let me close it now I switch to the client side and write some code in the data available event ok we have some data me read and the buffer size is maybe 1024 we will need also here to specify the path of the uh, file I will get the path from the terminal and let me um, give it the name receive file uh, txt okay perfect here also we will need stream as binary stream and stream is equal to binary stream this time we will create that file and write the data inside it and maybe close it okay as soon as everything is done we will need maybe a second label also to show the results here st file and there maybe we want to say file is there okay now I will switch back to this application and write here LBL file text sending is complete I think now we are done and we can test our applications I will run this one first Okay, now the file should appear here somewhere. That's good. And this is our file. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something as always. Don't forget to subscribe the channel if you want to see more. See you next time. Bye bye.